Hello and welcome to the second part of the Lighting Mods blog uh, video. This one uh, I will be showing you the the side by side between the Mark IV and the Mark III. Uh, there are not too many differences between them on 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 the outer side, uh, but uh, I will show you details of of some of the new things that are coming on the new 1D Mark IV from Canon. On the front side, there are not too much things to have except for for the new logo, the Mark III and the Mark IV. Now it's Mark IV, and uh, the only things that you have here, maybe this this kind of a, a carving on the on the body on the front side because of the of the new HDMI socket that uh, will be fitting here. So it they have changed, and also the microphone here. Uh, We'll take a closer look at this. So, as you can see, here is the three holes for the microphone and uh, the carvings for the HDMI slot there I'll be showing you in a moment. Well, for, for the rest part, it's, it's the same as the 1D Mark III. So, as you can see, the other one doesn't have the microphone here because it doesn't capture video. Uh, this is normal, normal thing. No, no carvings here, and the rest is is the same. Now on the side of the both cameras, we have uh, differences because here you have the the HDMI socket and the microphone because the Canon uh, Mark IV now it uh, records uh, video, as you know. Uh, also, the camera, I didn't tell you, but the camera, the Mark IV, has 16 megapixels against the 10 megapixels of the Mark III. There is this, the, the cards for, there's a socket for the, um, the flash and also the cable release. The same here on the, on the Mark IV. Is it the same? It's the same connectors. Also, you have the video out for the Mark III and the USB. Then you have the system extension terminal and this uh, this uh, very nice thing that uh, comes out very, very often and it costs 18 euros. And there is the, yeah, the socket on the, on the Mark IV where you can have the HDMI, the microphone and the socket for the USB. You also have the, the ex system extension terminal here. Try to get it out. Okay. So, but this one now it's scrapped into the into the body, so it's well fitted. Well, I think Canon did a nice job on this because everyone was complaining about losing this 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 one, this screw one. So I think uh, it will it it turned out to be good. I also would like to mention that. Uh, the weather ceilings on, on these covers are much better on the Mark IV. As you can see here, um, this is not such a, a good weather ceiling for, for the connectors uh, as apart from the, the new Mark IV has this kind of a shaped thing where it fits very well when you put it inside. It, it stays put and it's very good for the weather ceiling here for the for the for the cameras. On the back part of the camera, uh, we got the new LCD. It's a three-inch clear view do, uh, LCD monitor, and this got nine hundred and twenty thousand dots VGA. Uh, also has the reflection resistant with multi coating and eye transparency materials for bright and clear view. Uh, we'll talk about it in a moment when we make a closer view of the of the camera. Now, uh, the only notes noticeable thing is that um, the Mark IV got this speaker right here. As you can see, this is for the movies where the sound is going to come out. So on the back part of the camera, the, the Mark IV now has this uh, four holes that's for the speaker uh, where you can can listen to the movies that you make I also noticed that here on top Canon has, has put another 
different button for the autofocus it's a it's smaller one it it seems like a smaller one but it feels it feels comfortable but uh, i have to test it out to to check if it's if it's good or not well let's compare it with the other one we'll move to the autofocus you see here the autofocus button well this one is it's more cut it's not so roundish as the other one it's it's very good but um, i wish i they they could have put it a, a, a big button here because i use this a lot and this is uh, let me try to show you this is a, a round one okay besides that the, the rest is the same well uh, one thing that uh, impressed me was the the lcd that's one of the main things that uh, i i needed for for the um, for the Mark IV to have a good LCD screen because on, on this one sometimes you cannot see very well and uh, you cannot check if the photos are in, in focus or not and that, that was one of the main problems of, of uh, for me, well at least for me, of the Mark uh, III. On the Mark IV, as you can see, this, this, this the, the, has some kind of a mirror thing to the to the to the LCD, I will put my hand here, and you barely notice it. But if you, I move it to the mirror on the LCD screen here, uh, it's um, it's not uh, the coding is not so well so well done and it's not so good. Also, they they've made a, a new frame around the the Mark IV, as you can see, so it's more protective. Or you can see it it will protect even better the screen here for scratches and you see this is this is one of the impressive things that I noticed right away is that the screen when you move your hand across the, the screen if you put my if I put my hand here and I also brought the the, the 5d mark 2 so we can make try try to arrange this here and try to put it here alongside so you can tr check it out the the three screens well this one is a uh, is a little bit reflective you can see my hand there and uh, you can notice something here then you got the mirror here and then you got the mark 3 impressive yeah well you can see something something well i can see not not here on the on the camera I'm not picking up anything, at least now, but with uh, it's it's very you can see it very well that on the Mark III, this one here, the Mark III, and the Mark II, the Mark II, you can see something on the screen. The coating is so good, but they made a very good job with the with the new screen here on the on the Mark III. Even if I put here, there is no no not doing anything for the illusion of uh, of people who is buying this but uh, as you can see you even see my hand here making the movie you can even see my hand moving but with uh, i will take a closer look at each one of the cameras so you can see here you can see my hand but it's not so well as a mirror then you, if we go you even get a, a white balance here and if we move into the you can see a little bit a little bit there but it's not com if you if we put side by side the both of them you see there is the this one here you can see something 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 but it's not nothing compared to this so i think outside it will be a uh, very good for the screen